Morning, people. Just turned up at Partick. That electric thing's here again, look, that thing. Whose is that? It must be someone's to do with Partick. Isn't it? The Strugglers Review. <laughs> These lads don't want to be on film, they're all camera shy. I want to do a review on this Maxus. I'm the Struggler, and this is an electric review on a Maxus 4x4. That's only two wheel drive at the rear. Because we build a 4x4, but apparently it's only two wheel drive. What? Oh. <laughs> For all your commercial vehicle requirements, go to Partick Motor Spares. The sales counter at Newark on Trent, where you can meet Thermos. And you can see the Maxxis eco friendly 4x1x4. 4x. No, 4. 2x4. Four. This is Chris's new uh, thingy. What do you call it? What do you call these? Business car. What do you call them? When, like, you work for someone and they get your car. You know what I mean. That one. I said, what you got this for then, Chris? Why did you want... Did you want an electric electric four before? He's like, yeah, I did, yeah. And I'm like, why? Tell me why. He says, for tax reasons. Because you don't have to pay road tax on it. And you don't have to pay, like, employees tax. Like, em like I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs of these cars when you're employed by someone and they give you a car, but apparently you have to pay tax or something. And you don't have to do that. But... Uh, you can't, you can charge your plug socket apparently, but it'll take 48 hours, is it, to fully charge it? I don't know the specs you see, do I? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know, but let's have a go in it anyway. I, I've asked Jack if I can have a go in this. He said, yeah, take it up the road, mate. Take it, take, take it around the block. I says, I can't, because Chris reckon it's about out of battery. <laughs> hey. Is this old EV then? Old EV? Chris said something about it's made in Maxxis, his old EV apparently. I said to him, oh, well, so it's made in the UK? He's like, no, it won't be made in the UK, will it? Like, oh, right, no. I was going to give it less of a slating, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to give it a... I was going to give it a bit of a, a go then, if it was made in the UK, but no, it's not, so... Yeah. Anyway. Right, how do you know when this is on? The wipers are going. Where's the wipers? Oh, oh no. Here we go, people. What time that is. Heck off. Right, here we go. Oh my God, I'm some kind of idiot, Anna. I've just went then, look, to start it up. I think it's not starting. So how do you know when it's started? What do I do, put me out? Oh, I don't get it. Look, this is why this is why I needed someone out here to tell me how I, what, what to do here because brake switch is not pressed. I can see me blowing this up before I even get out the piss and drive. Right, press foot brake down, and then I'll turn the key again. Look, oh, is that it then? Are we on then now? The headlights come on. Nope. <laughs> oh, all the steering's light. It says it's ready. Oh, is it because my handbrake was on? Oh, this is weird, man. We're out of engine. I, I don't know what gear I'm in. Yeah, I look, new gears here. Fuck it, I can see me. I can see me breaking this. Look, going forward. Oh, this is so weird, man. It's like this is just bizarre. There's no noise, is there? Right, take my brake off, look. Look at this. There they are, the fighter jets are coming over now, look, people. We've got fighter jets coming over. They'll not get me in my eco-friendly <laughs> 4x4. Mm. 
They'll never hear me coming in my silent 4x4. I can't believe this, look. Hang on, I can hear a homing. Can you hear that homing? Is that fire to jets or is that this car homing? It's this car. Listen, sounds like a bee at the back. Oh, I've got a van coming behind me now. I need to do a three point turn here. Putting me under a bit of pressure here, this van. Watch out, electric car coming through. Make space, people. Right, so range, he's got 53 miles left. Are you being serious about that noise? It's like an electric motor. You can hear the electric fucking motor going. Listen to the whine. <laughs> God, that'd get right on your nerves, wouldn't it? I know all you people. Well, it's just like listening to an engine, Chris, isn't it? No, that's like Chinese torture. Listening to some kind of bloody thing in your ear all the way. Well, I'd best put my belt on, aren't I? Pretty bog standard in here, look, isn't it? I thought it might have been like, like from the space age, but no, it's pretty bog standard, isn't it? You know what I mean? There's no no overly technology about it, is there? But the looks of it. Oh, there will be, like, underneath, obviously. But, I mean, just in here, it's just... Noise. <laughs> oh, I ain't got my camera stand because I, I winged it, Anna. So you just have to sit down there while I take this beast out. Oh, that noise is gone now, the old man. So it's only when you go slow. Now oh, you can hear like the wind and that. You can't hear a thing now. It's just. It's like being in an isolation chamber. You can just hear the road noise. So it's just an automatic, basically, isn't it? Accelerate and then brake. Oh, hang on, it's got like a got like a bronze brake on it here. We've got like an exhaust brake. It's braking for me here. I took my accelerator off. It's braking for me. Oh shit! Indicator's wrong one. Sorry, mate. I'm in an eco. Let me pass. I'm in an eco-friendly jeep here. That's weird, isn't it? How it brakes feel like. It's like, got a, it's like got an exhaust brake on it. Well, I suppose it's electric motors, isn't it? It's like hydrostatic, isn't it? You know what I mean? Oh, I've gone to a mile already. Sorry, Chris. I've got piss all left to get on with, mate. I it's a bit... On the bumps, like, on the potholes, it's a bit... Oh, it's pissing indicator. I'm doing the wrong indicator again, people. Listen, the ums back because I'm going slow. Where you trickle, you see. Makes you feel like you're in a spaceship. Right, people, I'm going to have a go now with reversing this. Oh, look at this, look, look. Got... Oh, there's a drip on it there, look. Oh, dear, that's not very good, is it? On my little camera at the back there, it's a drip. Oh, my God, look, look, you turn your steering, like, it tells you the angle what you're going to go at. What? Look at this. Oh. Tell you where you're going to point it. Bloody hell. <laughs> I don't need that, mate. I'm a struggler. <laughs> what do you think I don't know how to back up something. Back up. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Just banged into the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like these cameras. I don't trust them. I'm going to put my head out the window. Oh, that's just took me down a percent now. I'll put the window down. Look, gone down to 49 miles now. I didn't talk to put my window down. Sorry, Chris, I put the window... <laughs> the electric's gone now, isn't it? Oh, what does that mean? What's it beeping for? I don't know where I blew near it now, am I? I'm going to have to straighten up here because I look like an amateur. Chris will be taking the mick out of me parking. Oh, I've got the foot brake on and all oh, the back lights are going. That's taking more, that'll take more electric off it, won't it? I'm just going to leave it here like this, because it's beeping at me. I better switch the ignition off, and it will be going flat again, won't I? Oh, look. It has actually gone down a percent, look. 48 now, uh, a percent. It's gone down, look, 48 miles. Wait there, I'll just put the window up. 47 miles remain. Switch the ignition off. 46 miles remain. <laughs> <laughs> Disconnect the seatbelt. 
45 miles remaining. <laughs> oh, I have to take the key out. 44 miles remaining. Oh, I've got to open the door. That means... Look, the interior light's on. 43 miles remaining. Damn it. Yeah, it's different. I don't know. Quiet, innit? I suppose if... You know, it's... Oh, I don't know, I can do it. <laughs> I was going to say something good about it, but I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> Seriously, I couldn't think of good to say about it. I, I literally haven't got anything good to say about it, I don't think. I can't think of one good aspect of it, apart from, as Chris said, tax relief. What's the good point? Tax relief. Tax relief! Tax relief, yeah, that's the good point. Good point is it tax relief, obviously. And it, it must weigh a bloody... What's, what's, what's it weigh? What's it weigh? I don't know. It'll weigh a bit. Well, let's get underneath it, people. Let's have a look underneath this beast. All right. What have we got here? Oh, look at this. Oh, I've got a multi-leaf spring here, so I'll be able to change that spring. I won't need an electrical certificate for that, would I? What's this here, look? It's water pipe coming here. That must be cooling something's in there. Look, there's the electric motor, look, at the back. Isn't it? And then it goes into a diff flow. A differential. What, is this the only... It's not... Well, so that's the main motor, then? Hang on, let's have a look at this a bit deeper, because... Yeah, it's only back rear-wheel drive. I like the idea it's rear-wheel drive, you know. Just rear-wheel drive. I don't like front-wheel drive vehicles. I like cars are like... like I like rear-wheel drive vehicles. You know why? Because you can donut them ever so good. That's why. They just seem more natural, don't it? Rear-wheel drive than front-wheel drive. Because you've got your steering at the front, so there's enough complication at the front anyway. You don't need any more. This is why I like rear-wheel drive. I like this. Like it's rear-wheel drive. There, you see? I've given it a bit of good compliment. It's rear-wheel drive, which is good. See? Not all negativity on this channel. <laughs> I do have a bit of positivity to say as well. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. So these are... That's the... <laughs> Don't <Touch> that... Fucking <laughs> electrocute. Oh, we got electrocute. <laughs> Chris, you need the certificate to work on that. Right. Let me get this right. It seems pretty simple, doesn't it? I mean, it seems really simple. If it if it is just this lot, look. Look, there's your power is going through your batteries. Your batteries are all stored underneath there. Look at them all, all here. All the way across the bed, look. All the way across. So you've got two big cables going through your battery, straight into this motor. That must be your solenoid for working the power on and off for your motor. So that's like a big relay, isn't it? Pretty simple, isn't it? People reckon I won't be able to work on these. Come on, no two of them is there. Is you need to proper isolated, Chris. Just disconnect them two for cables from wherever they feed from. Isolated, surely. If it's got no power coming out of the batteries, it's got no power anywhere else, is it? And then you just whip this motor off, look. Few bolts, look. Whip that motor off. Jobs are good, in. And then you've got to whip you you. Your, your, uh, your gearing out here, look. And then you've got your diff in there. I should think it's just a normal... Well, it will be a normal diff, won't it? So it's quite simple, really, isn't it? I think, anyway. I don't think there's anything technical about this at all. Everyone getting all... Oh, it's very technical. You've got to have your proper certificates and you've got to do this and you've got to do that. And I don't think it's that complicated at all. It doesn't look it. In fact, it looks quite simple. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, guys. Looks like there's more to a normal lorry than there is to this. I think I could easily work on this beast. Hmm. Let's have a look at the front now. What's under here then, I wonder? What's under here? Look, there he is. There's the owner. He didn't want to be on film, but I caught him. That's him. He's the guilty one! Ah. May we lash him down the street. <laughs> We'll stone you! Stone that man next time you see him! Stone him! Right, where's the... He ought to be ashamed of himself. Chris, 
Where's Zach? Zach's there, look. He don't want to be on film. Nobody wants to be on film. Look, here's Chris. Here he is, people. The man that spoiled the ecosystem. Right, what's under here then, Chris? Well, nothing. There's got to be somewhere. I'll tell you what, mate, it looks quite simple at the back there. Oh, you know, the, the diff and all that, it looks simple as out. I, I could work at that. People reckon that I can't. Wow. What's this thing then? Ah, uh, that's the simulated engine, isn't it? <laughs> so us, us as humans can like think, hmm, that looks like an engine. What is that? I'll be for calling it. Oh, it's another electric box. It's a brain, isn't it? Oh, you've got a normal battery here as well. Starts what? Motor starts. Oh, it's confusing now. Oh, uh, it, it is complicated. I thought it was simple, but it's not. It's complicated. Yeah, that, that starts it then, Chris said. That starts the main... I don't know. How can it start? What's it starting? Oh, you've got your, your fan there, look, for your cooling, water cooling. It's all water cooled, isn't it? Like, I've noticed all going into these electric things is water cooling. <laughs> I haven't broke it, Chris, you see? Yeah, look, that isn't like a... It's the brain, isn't it? Ah, oh, that'll be complicated now, isn't it? Won't it? Hmm, it's interesting anyway. You got a normal steering rack on it, look. There's no really. It's just a. I don't know. Oh, here we go. This will be swishing off down the road, Chris. I thought it was going to hum all the time. I got in it, and when you're going slow, you can hear that hum. Oh, I thought this. I said to the easy dandy in it. You got the. It's like tiny, uh, Chinese torture in your ear. But then when you actually put your foot down, it's quiet, isn't it? But it's a bit too quiet, don't you think? Like off puttingly quiet. It's weird. Yeah, that's what I mean. I've never been in one before, and it seems weird because all you can hear is. The wheels on the road, you can't hear nothing. It just seems weird not to hear an engine, obviously. It seems very foreign not to hear an engine. Right, I need to put this on now, people. I've got to put you down. If this flies off down the road, Chris, don't don't blame me, mate. That's it. She's on. Yeah, it's been an exp... Oh, I'm best give you the keys back, can I, Chris? Mm -hmm. You can keep that, mate. I haven't locked it. <laughs> Nobody's going to chore it, are they? <laughs> Mind you, they might. They might do for your batteries. They'll weigh in for quite a bit. They will. Isn't it? <laughs> the batteries are quite a bit. Thanks, Chris, for that experience. I loved it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely machine. I'm going to buy one today. It's not as complicated as what I thought it was. You know, like on that engine bay thing, you can get around everything, can't you? You know what I mean? Everything's accessible. I thought there'd be more like technology. You know what I mean? Like little ECUs and CCUs and CCJs and BBBUIs. Well, it's not. It's quite good. Oh, beeped up. Chris was just telling me a bit more information about this electric thing. I was saying to Chris how basic it is inside. He said that this is the only, the first four, well, it's not four before, is it? But four before simulation uh, in the UK. It's a simulated four before. It looks like a four before. It's a make-believe four before. It's a wannabe four before, isn't it? But Chris said, as he said, inside and that, it's very ba everything's very basic on it. Oh, yeah, another thing with these electric things, you know, in the summer, if you put your air con on, say if you've got 50 miles left, you put the air con on, Chris says it'll go down to about 25, 20 miles left because, obviously, it's taking up the electricity, isn't it? So anything that takes electricity up, obviously, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to affect your battery life, isn't it? Uh, but, I don't know. I mean, it's not... I was expecting to go in there and it'd be like... You know what I mean? Like Starship Enterprise-ish. But it's not. It's quite the same as... He reckons they do a diesel, one of these. So all they've done is took the dieselness out and put the electricness in. Right, people. Now let's get some official stats on this. On this pickup 4x2x2x4 by two by, two by pickup two-wheel drive. Let's get some official stats. Right. Uh, it's a Maxxis T90 EV two-wheel drive. That's what we figured out anyway. Top speed is 80 miles an hour. Uh, it's got 201 brake horsepower. It's got an 88.6 kilowatt an hour motor. Its towing capability is one and a half ton. You can fit a ton in the back of the pickup. What else has it got? What else do we want to know? 
Oh yeah, the range on a full charge is 220 miles, but that can get reduced. If Apparently if you're on motorway, it gets reduced about uh, 180 miles because it must take more juice out of the battery, obviously, the faster you go. I should imagine that's why it's lower. Because obviously it's back of the road, on it? Like, and uh, if you drive the, a, a, a normal combustion engine around town, it's, it's lower mileage than what you get on, on the motorway. But this is the opposite way around. You get more mileage if you're just scooting around town in one of these electric things than you would do down the motorway. So that's, uh, that's, that's a weird thing, isn't it? I didn't know that. I don't know anything, really. This is a big question. How long does it take to charge? Right, so from zero, it takes 12 hours uh, to charge it, to fully charge it. That's with using, using a typical 7 kilowatt home charging point. I'm just reading this off Google searches here. However, most drivers top up 80% on a one hour fast charge. You see? Uh, who are the competitors in the UK for these pickups? Like who, if you wanted an electric pickup, who are the competitors? Uh, and the answer is nobody. Cause this is the only electric pickup in the UK. So the competitors are the good old fashioned combustion engine pickup. Yeah, it is. In there. There, look, there's a combustion engine pickup. They're the competitors. Yeah, so there's none of these pickups, electric pickups in the UK at all. Uh, where's it made? You know where it's made. Come on, have a guess. Have a guess. China. China, Thailand, all that lot. That's where it's made. Uh, yeah, so I think, I think that's it, isn't it? Pretty sure that's it. I think we've covered that. Everybody, Leo Dags there. What do you think to the electric car, Leo's? Not as good as the van, is it, Leo's? Ain't got the same character as the van, has it, Leo's? You won't like it, because you like the engine noise, doesn't it, Leo Dags? <laughs> it's shaking everyone. Why has your night eater gone off? Oh, I've run out of bloody fuel, haven't I? I'm going electric, sod this. Right, I'm going electric. <laughs>